All right, so I want to talk a little bit about Brian's, Daniel Bryan's injury, his neck injury. And I, at first I was questioning it, like, is this legit? Because I know they were talking about how much of a failure, you know, like, a lot of officials in WWE thought that uh, uh, the yes chance were the only thing that was over and not Daniel Bryan, which was bullshit. And then I saw, you know, like, it doesn't seem to be that successful you know, it's been pretty good. It's been okay, I guess. But it doesn't hasn't seemed to be, like, a great title run or anything, you know, with Kane and everything. So I was thinking maybe they're just going to send Brian home for a little bit and bring him back at SummerSlam and do this injury. Because if they if they took him off uh, Raw, like, in a storyline, everybody would be pissed because they're like, why are they taking Brian off? He's the best guy in the company. So I, maybe I was thinking they just made it seem like it was legit so the internet fans wouldn't be pissed. But, you know, it doesn't seem that's the case anymore. I mean, they posted some pictures online. They seem legit. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't prove it. But the thing I think, uh, they named his surgery. Um, and, and I looked it up. And it said that the recovery time is two to three months. I think it was like cerebral photo anatomy or some shit like that I, I don't know the exact name but yeah recovery time instead is generally two to three months until you could get back with sports and everything um so yeah it seems like he'll be back by SummerSlam. um and with wwe wrestlers it seems like they come back uh they come back pretty you know uh earlier from the general time you know um so, yeah, hopefully he will be back by SummerSlam. I think he will be. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this injury is legit. Again, I don't know. You know, I don't know for sure because you never know with WWE, you know. Like, when they did the injury with Cena, you know, when they, where they, I, I can't say for sure they lied about it. But I'm about 90, 90, 90 95% sure they lied about Cena's injury with the triceps tear. First, the, first off, they say, oh, you know, they, they, they put the big, uh, the big uh, bump on his out. He's got the big bump. And let me tell you something. I got a friend who plays hockey, um, and he got the same fucking thing on his elbow. The same fucking thing on his elbow. Exact, it looked exactly this. Maybe a little bit smaller than seeing his bump. But he, you could see his elbow. It's the same fucking thing, you know? And uh, he was fine. I mean, he didn't take, you know, a couple months. He, he was back in no time. I mean, it wasn't that big of injury. It wasn't a triceps tear. So what they said was the triceps tore or something. And then the fluid somehow came down or something like that. You know, I'm not, I'm not an expert on fucking medical shit. But, like, when a, tri when a bone tear or a muscle tears... There's a bunch of fluid just build up right by it. You know, I don't fucking know, but... I mean, just just a point. You know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert or anything, but... Yeah, my friend got the same fucking thing, and he was fine. He, he didn't... He wasn't out for, you know, a long period of time or anything. You know, I, even, I don't even think he took any time off. You know, he, he was fine. No triceps tear, no cast, sling, no wrap around his elbow or anything. So I think that Cena injury was a complete fraud. I only bring him back in two months. And I'm tweeting. I remember tweeting or saying, like, during Summer of Slam, you know, Cena's tough for wrestling with that injury. I, I give him props for wrestling with that injury. I remember he had, like, a botch during that match. I'm like, guys, don't go crazy over the botch. He's got a fucking tear torn triceps. It's probably just because of that. But then he returns, like, two months later. And I'm like, no way he had a fucking torn triceps. I was reading an article on Bleacher Report that uh, it was like some doctor I think and he was totally you know g going off saying there's no way he tore his triceps it was probably a more minor injury so that's why I doubt things in WWE with Vince McMahon you never fucking know what's going on and I'm, I didn't come to the conclusion that it was you know if th that this was a fake injury I said I'm just questioning it all right because you never know with Vince you know, with that, they did the same thing. So if they lie to me, they lose credibility. And I'm going to question everything they do like this. I'm not just going to go along with what they say. I'm going to investigate it. And I've investigated it, and I don't know. But, you know, if, if I had to bet money on it, 
I would have to say the injury is legit um, because the surgery, you know, they put pictures online that seem legit. Um, they named the surgery name, which seems legit. So probably I'm 80% sure this is a legitimate injury. But the thing that led me to doubt it was, again, they lied in the past and they did not reference a specific point when he got the injury. Like whenever somebody gets hurt, you know, like the point they acquired that injury, you know, like look back at all the injuries. Like even when Punk got injured with the knee and he had to get knee surgery, they said he got injured when Ryback put him through the table. I think that was after the show ended or, you know, um, Barrett got his arm injured. You can clearly see when, um, I remember, uh, Cody Rhodes got injured, his neck got injured, same thing with Brian, you know, not the same exact injury, but same area, and you could see where Kane injured him, you know, and even in, when there, somebody's injured in live events, I remember when Punk got injured at a live event, when Miz, I think, dropped him on his head or something, and they uh, referenced the exact point when it happened, so I mean, there's usually a point, you know, unless the injury is like gradually building up, or, you know, I don't know, with the neck, I don't know too much about this injury, but it just seems odd that they didn't reference a specific point or the internet or no wrestling websites could come up with a specific point that the injury happened. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Brian's going to be out for a couple months. And this is bad, people. I mean, who's your, now we're going to have more of Cena. You know, now Cena's the, 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 the number one baby face. I mean, he is the face of the company. But at least he wasn't champion. I mean, but now Cena's like the main baby face. You know, and now we got a bunch of other people who, uh, you know, aren't that talented. You know, Brian was like the savior, the the, the top guy for, uh, you know, the top talent. And now he's gone. And not good, you know, not fucking good. Um, but uh, hopefully, you know, this is what I'm thinking. You bring him back on Raw a couple weeks before SummerSlam and hopefully he's healed. Bring him back. Two, three weeks before SummerSlam. And then have Brock Lesnar come out there. Uh, beat him down. You know, just fucking beat him down. Put him through the table. You know, set up a match at SummerSlam. Do a no-holds-barred or something. You know, no DQ match. Street fight, something like that. Some match like that. And there you go. There's your SummerSlam main event. And a great main event that would be Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. You know, I hear people say, no, do Cesaro. They might do Cesaro versus Lesnar. No, don't do that because Cesaro's only been with Heyman for a little bit. I, I think Cesaro has to be with Heyman for a little bit longer and then they could break up. But it's like if, they, if they're only together for like two months, it's not really, you know, a, a big deal if they break up, it seems like, you know. But um, maybe you have Cesaro versus Lesnar at WrestleMania 31. You know, that would be better, I think. I think if you do it at SummerSlam, it's just too rushed. Um, I have it play out a little bit longer. And do Cesaro, or uh, Brian uh, Lesnar at WrestleMania. And, uh, you know, you got all these great feuds, you know, that you could have with Brian. So hopefully when he comes back, we'll get a, a Brian versus Lesnar match. Brian versus Cesaro, maybe, for the title feud. You know, something like that. And I wouldn't mind if Cesaro would be the one that took the title away from Brian, you know, because Cesaro is very good. And, you know, Brian cannot hold on to the title forever. Um, he, he just can't. He, he's got to drop it sometime. You know, maybe to Cesaro would be probably the top guy to drop it to. And uh, should they strip him of the title? No, um, I don't think they should. Because there's nobody you could put the fucking title on that I would be happy with. Batista sucks. Orton sucks. Triple H, haha, <laughs> sucks. Um, yeah, there's nobody I would see fit to be champion right now. Um, so yeah, just have him hold on to the title. Because um, if he loses it, um, then he's going to have to have this another, another feud. And it's just not going to be good. He's probably going to have another, you know, probably going to give it to Orton or Batista. Uh, if, or Kane, you know, if they fucking, uh, if they fucking, um, take it off of him, then we have to see another boring match, which we've already seen a million times between Brian and Batista, 
Uh, and I wouldn't. I would not want to see Batista in a championship match. I don't like Batista. He's not talented enough. And Batista uh, or uh, Brian Orton, we've already seen a million times, and Brian King, we've already seen quite a bit too. So, just have him keep the belt, um, and then put the match Brian versus Lesnar at SummerSlam. Should be a great fucking match between two great wrestlers. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much my thoughts on uh, Brian's injury. You know, again, this is bad though for the company. I mean, he's not going to be there. He's a big draw. You know, he's a big name. Um, you know, people will continue. I see, I've always saw people saying, oh, well, you know, Orton's a bigger draw than, uh, than Brian, when Brian's clearly the most popular guy in the company. You know, so I see people, oh, Cena's a big draw. He's better than Brian. I hate people when they go all corporate and everything and they're, you know, talking about, Oh, who brings in the bigger viewers, you know, bigger, bigger uh, amount of viewers. That should be the guy on top. It's like, what? You know, people are just, judge off of wrestling ability, not off of the amount of people who watch the fucking, you know, product. Go off of wrestling ability and talent, not the amount of people um, you could bring in, you know. If they put uh, videos of people dying on fucking Raw, you know, I'd say they put a video on there of uh, Barack Obama being fucking shot. I don't know, I'm just doing something. Barack Obama being shot. Yeah, is that going to bring in ratings? Yeah, you're damn right it will, but wrestling fans aren't going to be happy about it. You know, so that's what I'm talking about. Go off of wrestling ability um, when you judge people. And Brian, you know, is a big guy. I'm sure the fans love uh, The fans do love him. I'm sure a lot of people watch the show because of him. And it's a shame that he's going to leave. It'll probably cut into WB's uh, money profits probably, because he is a top guy, you know, and he is a he is a big name in the wrestling business. So uh, hopefully Brian is able to wrestle at SummerSlam, and hopefully this neck surgery is uh, go successful. Because I know neck injuries have uh, ended a lot of people's careers or at least hurt them, like Kurt Angle, Edge, to name a few people. So yeah. Uh, hopefully Brian's okay, and it looks like he will be since this is, uh, sort of a minor neck injury. It's only going to take two or three months for him to return, and hopefully he will be back soon. So, uh, there you go, people.